hello good day guys this is Opemi, and in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually clone a website yes how you can clone a website without even writing a code without writing a code at all so before i proceed i would like to buy i will have to add the domain that i want to use to my hosting because the hosting that i bought is actually for two websites that is i can host two websites on one hosting so now i want to add this domain that i want to use for this explanation i want to add it to my c panel so this is my c panel if you don't know how i get here you can actually go and watch those of our previous videos so let me scroll down to domain Can you see domain now so click on it so let's create a new domain so click on so it's loading let's hold on for it can you see let's write our domain here the domain i want to register is wikibest.com dot ng so i will just show wikibase dot com dot ng can you see now so click on it so let's click on this so scroll down and click on submit So let's hold on for it is loading so can you see you have successfully created the new wikibestdata.com.ng domain with the document root of this so we have successfully created it so now what should we do next So can you see we've created it already can you see it so once it's successful click on this panel to go back so let me scroll down to go to my file manager So can you see it now that is added successfully so let us proceed so let's proceed to our browser to search for this website so can you see now there's nothing here already there's nothing here now so for you to know that we are starting afresh together so let's proceed we want to clone our website now so before you clone a website you need to download HTT rack on your system HTT rack so let me proceed now HTT rack so just search for it can you see HTT rack website so click on this first so after clicking on that one so let me just click on got it here download section can you see install the HTT rack go to download session now so just click on it can you see now so if you want to if your system is a window version so just click on this if you say vista click on this can you see all the type of software that is there can you see all the type of operating system that is there so you just choose the one that you have now so i'm using windows 10 now so i'll just click on the city rack then just close this ad 
so it's downloaded it's downloading already can you see let me just post it because i don't really need it it's already downloaded on my system so but for you you need can you see it's even downloaded already so you just click on it and install it but me for me i won't be installing it now because i already have it on my system so let me just look for the folder on my system right now ACT rack so i have it on my system already so let me just click on open let me click on yes yes okay i already downloaded it again can you see now i'm downloading it again now okay this one is telling me that i i have it already on my system so let me just go down there and look for hit HTT work So once I since I already have it on my system, so let me just search for it. HTT rack. There is the app on my system. So let me just click on HTT rack app. Can you see it here? So I will just click on it once. So can you see now I've opened it already. So let me just put you through how you can do it. Let me put you through. So just click on next. Can you see it? I've clicked on next now. So I have to copy the URL of the website that I want to clone. I have to copy it. So I want to name my project now. Let me just name it as this. Then let me paste the URL of the website that I want to clone here. The one that I want to clone. So click on next. Then click on finish. So can you see it now? I have to hold on it for it for a while so can you see it now i have to hold on for a while for it to finish cloning so i will have to pause this video for now because it actually takes five to ten minutes before it's done so let me just pause this video now then i will continue when it's done So now that is done, I will have to click on finish. So then go to local disk. So click on local disk. Then click on my website. Then what is the name of the folder that we created? This is it here. So I have to click on the folder. Then I will look off in. Then I will look for index.html. So let me just. Let me just open it now so it's loading can you see this is the website that i just cloned now this is it can you see it now so let me just clone it so that is that so now for you to upload the cloned website to your own main website that is the one that you cloned you want to move it to your own main website so this is the folder that we just cloned now this is the folder that we just cloned so i want to open it here now i'll go to my file manager to open this file folder so let me just go to my file manager now so i go to local disk then i click on my website so this is the folder right here this folder so i'll just right click on this then i will compress it send to then click on compress to zip file so click on it so it's compressing now we have to hold on for it
so can you see it's compressed now can you see it's compressed so it is in it is compressed to winrar file so if you don't have winrar on your phone you have to go and download it so just go to your browser then search for winrar w i n r a r so search for it then you have to download it on your system then you install it so that you can have it in that form that i have mine so can you see it now so just click on it it is free to download click on it is free to download but right now that i have it on my, already on my phone that is why my file that i just com compressed compressed that is why it's on winrar form as you can see it here can you see now that is why it's in winrar form so let's proceed can you see that i just compressed it so it's the one that will compress that we are working on this this one that i compressed the one at the last line here, this is what i'm working on so let's proceed so as you can see this is the file that i just cloned the folder that i named rather this is the folder that i named the other time i'm cloning the website so let me just open the folder now can you see the name of the of the website that i clone is timmy.com can you see it now so i will just right click on the folder then i will go to compress can you see my me now can you see now send to then click on compressed to zip file if you don't have one wrap on your system go and download it so click on compressed so let's wait for it now let's hold on for it can you see now it's compressed so here we go this is the mirror form the zipped file this is what we'll be uploading on our c panel so let me log into my c panel now let me log into my c panel we all know how to log into our c panel so let me just log in So before I proceed, let me just work on this email account. So let me select the domain. This is the domain that I want to use. Then I have to enter my personal Gmail account. So I will enter my username here. Let me just say support. Support. So I have to create a password here. Please create the password that you remember here. So after creating the password, scroll down then click on create. Can you see now? You have created support at vikibestdata.com.ng. So can you see now? So we have to connect the Gmail that we just created now. We have to connect it with our normal Gmail account. So click on forwarder let me scroll down so select the domain the domain is wikibase.com.ng so that all those messages that are forwarded to support at wikibase.com.ng will also be 
forward to your personal mail too. So let's go. Click on add forwarder. So put the address to forward to. So address to forward, let me just write support. You know we created support the other time. Let me write support. So which mail do you want the mail to be forward to or copy to? So let me just put the mail that I want here. So that is all. Then I will click on add folder. So can you see all mail sent to this mail? That is the official mail of this website. Will be copied to this Gmail. So that is just that. Sorry, let me just repeat myself. Then I will select the domain. Can you see? So let me click on add folder. Can you see now? This is what I wanted to do. Can you see? So let's click on go back. Go back. So let's proceed to upload our cloned website so go to file manager can you see this is our website that is our add-on domain website because this is actually my website the personal website that i'm using so this one that i'm doing now is just uh, like an add-on domain as i explained earlier because i have I'm opportunity to design two websites on one hosting so let me click on it now so we want to upload our zip file so let me click on upload I should select select file eh? so I want to upload the clone website here so let me just copy the clone website to my to my desktop or I will just drag it and drop it here this is it so let me just drag and drop so it is loading So once is one once it is downloaded successfully, go back. As you can see, this is it here. So right click on it. Can you see it is in zipped form? 
so right click on it then click on extract then click on extract files don't even edit anything here so click on extract files it's extracting already So I'll click on close now. So can you see it has created folder for me? So let me just click on the folder. Let me click on the folder. Can you see this is all the content on the website, but there are some parts that I don't need in this area. There are some parts that I don't need that I'll have to delete later on. So we have to copy all here. No, we have to copy all. Let me just let all select all, then right click on it, then move it. Oh, sorry, before we move it, we should have created a folder for that, that we want to move it into. So let me go back. I want to create a folder. I want to create a folder. So click on the folder. Let me leave the folder in name. Let me say wikibestdata.com.ng. Or let me just call it wikibestdata. Then click on create folder. So I have to move all what is in this folder. I will have to move it. Right click on it. Right click on it then click on move. Which directly do you want to move it to? Which directly do you want to move it to? So I will just have to delete this folder name at the front. So let me just delete it. Can you see wikibestdata.com.n? This is where I want to move the files to. So click on move files. So that is all. Can you see the, it is moved now? Can you see it is moved now? So now that we have moved it, let's go back to our website to view it. Wow, wow, wow. Can you see now that we have the full website? Can you see? We have the full website. Same thing as the one we cloned. So can you see now? It is okay like this. Now we want to edit this. We are going to edit this like changing of our logo. Changing of our names and all that. Including the address, the pricing and all that. And we are going to do it together. So let's proceed. So now click on this folder wikibase.com.ng. So click on it. Can you see all the content that we move? But I'll be deleting some 
I will delete some folder because I don't need them all. I will delete some. So like this now. Let me just check what is inside. There's nothing inside. So I will have to delete it. So that it won't occupy more space. Like this documentation. I'm going to delete it. So let me just look for those that I want to delete in this folder so that they will not they will not just be occupying space. So this pay with modify, I don't think I need it. Let me just delete it. Confirm this pay online. Do I need it? Let me delete it. Go back. So I will leave these images because I will still need it. I will need it. Go back. So this airtime top up creates, I will have to delete it. I don't need it. Let me just delete it. Right click on it, then click on delete. So confirm. So what else do I want to delete here? This pay online, I haven't deleted. Let me delete it now. Click on delete. Confirm. This coupon payments, I will delete it. I don't need it. This transfer create, let me delete it. I don't need it. This folder I will have to delete it because I don't think I need it anymore go back so I hope you are following I want to delete this data create edit profile i will delete it i will delete password reset because i only need the front end not the back end so i will have to delete this folder this folder so this is just how I clone and edit my website a VTU website to be precise so what else this times let me delete it I don't need it Let me search for this 
this auto bank i don't need it let me delete it i don't need bill payments i did not need cable sub let me delete it because i only need the front end User details, do I need it? No, but let me just look. Let me search for it. Let me look for what is inside. I don't need user details, I don't need it. I would delete this documentation. I don't need it. I hope our website is still intact. So it's still intact. So let's proceed. User details. Let me delete user details. So user, let me delete user. I will delete pricing. I think that is all for now. So that is all for now. So if you want to edit your website, you want to really edit it, so just right click on it like this, then click on edit, edit, can you see now? So this is this, this is the code, you have to be very careful with this area. So for example, let me delete this let me edit this name so that you can see the essence of the editing it's just to remove the name the logo the url that is all so let me remove this and for you to see what i'm talking about wikibase data so click on save changes So let me go back to the URL to see if it is changed already. I don't really see the changes. This is what I change.
so let me change this name to C or this let me change it So what I'm doing now is that I'm changing the name to my own name. So wherever I see the site name, the site name that I cloned, I will have to edit it and put mine there. Why shoes Vicky best data? So let me click on save changes and let's view our website now. So can you see the name is changed now? Can you see the name is changed now? So we just have to edit this, this colored one. So let's scroll down to see all. Can you see this name is changed now? Can you see? What else? So can you see we've changed the name now? We've changed the name. So we are going to the address section here at the down part. So we are going to put the address. We are going to edit it. It's just the same way that you edited the name. That is how you edit the address. So go back to the C panel. So let's go down to edit the address.
so yeah i can just put the developer website here the name of the developer website i can just put it here so this is just how to edit the content whatever content you want to edit in the website this is how to edit it You can also put your website link here it's like this it's just like the same thing so scroll up you change your mail you change your phone number then the address you need to be care very careful here just the address and that is so so then you click on save changes So after saving it, let's go back and check our website. So after editing your content, click on save changes. So let's go back to our website to view it. So can you see? Yeah, you can go back to the code. This content is too long. This content, can you see it is not leveled at all? So, so you can go back to the code, then look for the content, then you clear it off. It is too long. You need to be careful in this area as i said you need to be very 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 careful so that you won't erase the code that you you are not all to remove so you just have to look at it carefully let me look at what i want to raise so i want to raise mtn parts mtn area from this is six gig downward i want to erase it so let me go back to it so i'm looking for mtn now okay this is for nine mobile can you see it here This is for glue. I'm looking for MTN. So if I should do MTN for you, then you know how to do the rest. Okay, this is LTL. So I'm going back to MTN. So can you see this is MTN? So I want to clear from 10 gig downward. So let me look for it carefully can you see this is i want to clear from here this place can you see don't touch this closed tab it is a closed tag in in html code so i'm going to clear this off from here downward downward then add this close tag so you just have to clear it off then click on save changes that's off let me go back to my website now to check can you see it is now shortened so if you want to rhyme orders to this level then do the same thing that i did so that is just how to edit your content so having said that
I need to delete this sign up. I need to delete it. This sign in and sign up. Let me go back to my C panel to delete it. This sign up. I want to delete it. So click on go back to the website as I've deleted the sign up now. Okay, so okay. I think I delete the sign in sign up. So let me delete the sign logout. There are some folder that are not useful. It's until we import the script for our backend. That is when we know that all these things are not useful. So, having said that, let's go back to our code. So, the reason why the logo is not responsive is because the logo that I imported in the C panel, I the extension is png why the one used here is jpg so that is the reason why it's not showing the other time so i went ahead to change it to png that is i went to where the logo is located so i changed the format to jpg can you see now jpg so that is just how you can clone your website so our website is cloned successfully so if there's anything that you want to remove you want to edit then you go to index.html to edit it if you want to edit phone number anyone you want to edit so just edit it so thank you very much for having me my name is okay if you have any question you can reach out to me on my whatsapp 08169627196 so thank you very much and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do well to subscribe 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 thank you very much god bless you